Come, come, come. Oh. Oh. You see this country, eh? If you don't have a voice, if you cannot speak for yourself, you're finished. I don't know why some people in the Nigerian police force behave as if their brain cells emanate from their toenails. I don't know. I have no idea. But you see, you will never get the respect you deserve from the public if you keep behaving the way you behave, some of you. Because I've met some whose brains are correct. So this afternoon, I'm trying to enter an area in a new room in front of City of David. There's a video I'm going to post before this, my video or maybe after. That during construction, and for a long time, for months, maybe over a year, it's been dual carriage in front of City of David and on the other side where they have their school. Dual carriage, both sides of the road because when they were constructing, they didn't say, don't pass here, don't go here. People have just been managing with the traffic lights and everything. Passed there this morning, passed there some hours ago, and then this afternoon, about 30 minutes or an hour ago, I'm trying to come into the street, the road, and I see a police van. I'm thinking there's an event, because sometimes when they have an event, they use the police trucks to you know, direct the traffic, uh, get people to, you know, arrange themselves and all of that. So I approach and I stop. I'm like, uh, what's going on? Wind down my window. And then this policeman comes, of course, with his rifle across his dry chest and says, I'm arresting you. I'm like, <laughs> arresting me for what? For passing one way. I said, one way? I've not even entered the street, but this is how we've been driving this area, you know. And because my window is down, he sticks his grubby fingers into my car, trying to open the door. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? We're going to the station. I said, for what? I'm arresting you. When we get there, you will talk. I'm like, where is the sign here for one way? If the road is finished, put a sign there and let people know that it's no longer okay to go dual carriage on one side. You can go in through here, turn in front and come back. You don't put a sign. You put two police trucks there to obstruct traffic and you're telling me you're arresting me. For what? So I come down from my car. I'm like, what are you arresting me for? This woman, your child, and of course, the lucky, he's lucky or whoever is his colleague, one of them, because there were like maybe six of them there, tries to enter the back of my car. Heavens no. That's why they carry, when you enter, they carry you going where you now, no, no. And drop you somewhere where you truly deserve it. Like, what's going on? And then another colleague of his, ah, leave him, leave him. Ah, and then another guy comes, ah, no, leave her, leave her. And then he starts wagging his crusty fingers at me. Uh, this woman, this woman, I will show you Pepe. Show me Pepe for what? You are wrong. Why couldn't you say, oh, madam, turn this way. Go this way. We are redirecting traffic. Until the sign comes, we are going to be redirecting traffic so that you go and turn. You can't even be courteous. You come with violence and you expect respect. And people are around and say, oh, Madam, calm down. Ah, Kate, now you. Then another of his colleagues say, Ah, you know, Noam. It's not about you know, Noam. I would not deliberately do the wrong thing. But you are wrong. You want to threaten me or you want to get money off me. For what? You act like your brain cells emanate from your own underneath your feet. That's why the public will never respect you. Never. Until you change your ways and get yourself schooled in how to approach people. And how to truly serve. Because that's your job. Not to threaten people up and down. There's no sign there. So I'm obviously not against anything. I'm not violating anything. And you stand there and say you want to arrest me. You put your, your, your phalanges inside my car. You want to enter. Enter where? So that you stay in my seats. 
Okay? I give respect to whom respect in you and I expect the same back. Do your job and do it properly. Now, they've left there. Obviously, money-making scheme didn't work. They've carried themselves away from there. Still, there is no sign. Tomorrow, they'll show up again. Come, Mama, Farah, Papa.